Sit back as the Museum of Fine Arts Houston takes you on a journey through American still life painting. Assistant Curator of American Painting and Sculpture Kaylin Weber explains more. Two centuries of American still life painting, the collection of Frank and Michelle Hebrides, is an exhibition showing and showcasing 67 paintings from their collection uh, from the early 19th century through to contemporary, all in one genre in still life painting. Frank Hebrides is a life trustee of our museum, a patron, uh, a passionate collector of American art, and he has put this collection together with the museum in mind. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for the museum to show a collection of work in one genre, one type of painting, uh, through a 200 year uh, history and really understanding sort of all of the currents and periods of that history. Still life painting uh, has been around for much longer than two centuries, but it's really been dominant in American art uh, for two centuries. Still life painting is the painting, the rendering of inanimate objects, uh, everyday objects such as fruit, um, flowers, books, etc. American uh, still life isn't necessarily completely distinctive from European um, still life painting. One of the things that's rather wonderful about it is that many of the American artists were greatly influenced by European still life painting, especially early on from 17th century Dutch still life painting. And um, they used that influence to paint things that were distinctive, but yet still showing a great influence. Um, for example, the work of one of our earliest artists, uh, the first uh, artist who focused on the genre, Raphael Peel, uh, he had been looking at 17th century Dutch still life painting, and then he um, created this wonderful scene in the, the actual painting that we have in the exhibition that is a very simple form, uh, which is probably a bit more American because of its simplicity, um, but also the objects rendered are would be objects that were indigenous to our country uh, or produced in this country as well. Uh, another aspect of still life uh, painting in America that is distinctive is um, there is also this element of, aside from the objects being um, American in many instances. There's also this sort of wit and humor about certain periods of still life um, that I think are unique. For example, if you look at some of the, the trompe l'oeil paintings, especially paintings of currency, uh, which was almost unique to our culture in art uh, as opposed to some of the European uh, paintings of the same time period. We begin with the you know, early examples, which are all sort of, um, tabletop scenes of fruit or uh, floral arrangements, moving right into the later part of the 19th century, where uh, it's often these sort of what we call trompe l'oeil paintings, sort of fooling or tricking of the eye, uh, these exceptional realist um, deceptive paintings. Uh, and then American Impressionism in the early 20th century, which was of course paralleled by some of the early American modernism happening at the same time, hugely, both hugely influenced by um, European movements happening as well. Uh, and then moving right into the modern and contemporary period where there's a, an eclectic mix of influence for our artists during that period. A wide range, diverse range of paintings, types and styles and movements happening, um, which I think we can represent by showing them side by side even to so, show that visual contrast that you see. For more information about the American Still Life Painting Art Exhibition at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, please visit www.mfah.org. For Art B, I am Raquel Sims.